in the last yes. three years. Did that not sort of put you off for good? Well, I never really, to be truthful, I never thought I would come back. I really had terrible doubts. Yes, but, um, Until you cut, um, get over a thing like that, because it's a very, uh, I mean, it's part of your life at that time. Until you get over it, that's when you, you start looking to things that you want out of life. And then um, mm. I decided that the thing that's going to get me back, hopefully, to full standard again is singing. Yeah. You were very young when you got into the business, of course. Nine when you started. Nine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You will yeah. probably won't remember an awful lot. Or do you remember everything from that time? Um, I remember bits and pieces, but only the funny bits. You know. Did you? Did success go to your head? It wasn't apparent from watching you on the television or, or listening to you yeah. that, that it had. But, I mean, did you become a precocious youngster overnight? <laughs> well, I don't think I did. <laughs> what do what do other people say when they've had a few drinks? Obviously, um, <laughs> no, some people actually think that if children are in show business, they automatically think, ooh, you know, precocious. Yeah. Because of the thing years ago, you know, when they had child stars, they had to keep sort of pushing them, and Mummy was always behind them, pushing them. But some of them are little monsters, you see. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean... <laughs> and then they do say that show business, you know the way they say about showbiz mothers, I mean, there's a couple that you read about even yeah. as we speak. Mm -hmm. Now, how about your own family? How did your fame affect uh, those nearest and dearest to you? Well, my family, luckily enough, I mean, they didn't always push me. They weren't always behind me saying, Lena, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. I just wanted to do it, you know? And uh, my family were actually in Scotland while I was in London, so I didn't really see them that much, you know? Mm. And they, did, they weren't really involved. Was that, a, was that a pity from your point of view? Would you like to have been closer to your family? Um, when I think now, uh, when I, as I got to ages 16 and 17, that's when I thought, oh my goodness, you know, I haven't been all these years with my family, and oh, what am I going to do? I don't really know them. But as a matter of fact, it made me closer to them because when, you, when you're away from them, you really appreciate them when, when you're back with them because they're in London now. And although my sister and I, and we, we're sort of drifting away because we're getting older, um, you know, we, we treat them now sort of like friends. Well, I treat them like friends. If, if your family had been nearer to you, would, would you, do you think you would have had that anorexia nervosa disease that attacked you, which is the slimmer's disease? Well, to be quite honest, I think that kind of thing is like a... I don't think it would have made any difference, really. What, what brought it on? May I ask you without embarrassing you, no, what brought on that slimmer's disease? Um, I think it's, I mean, anybody can get it. It's like, it's like I was in stage school, you know, and I wasn't really a dancer. And I, I, I sort of wanted to be in with everybody. I wanted to look as if I was one of the dancers, one of the actresses. And really, I hadn't been brought up as a dancer. Or, I mean, I didn't even know what ballet was when I first went there. I said, what's ballet? <laughs> when I was nine. And uh, I just, when I was age 12 and 13, I thought I was pleasantly plump. <laughs> I wasn't fat. I know the feeling very well. <laughs> well, you know the feeling. Yes, I've, had it, I've had it for years. <laughs> Well, There's I'm nothing wrong with that, but uh, uh, did you have some kind, you're going to say that you had some kind of, you felt bad about that? Yeah, I mean, I thought I had to be a ballet dancer, <laughs> and I wasn't a ballet dancer, and um, I just thought I wanted to be good at ballet and things like that, especially in the stage school and in, in um, show business, you always think, oh, you see all these... Um, you know, there's pictures of people and things that are really thin. Yeah. Now, these people are n either naturally thin or they're either models that that's their whole life and they're probably starving themselves, probably. <laughs> but um, you, you actually get a bit obsessed. And at that age, when you're very vulnerable, and also I didn't really know, I was coming out of the, the child stage and um, the audience and people were still looking at me as you know, the little Lena, all oh, little Lena. And so when I went on stage, I was just absolutely confused. I didn't know whether I was growing up, whether I was, you know, still wanted them to look on me as the little Lena. You know, I, I was so confused that um, 
I think instead of either turning to something like young people, sometimes they'll, they'll turn to punk or drugs or drink or whatever, I just actually turned it all on to my favourite thing, which was food, because I loved my food, I did. And well, I, I like it now again. Do you like it? Are you eating up now? Yes, but I eat all the bad stuff, unfortunately. Well, that's all right. I mean, we, as long as we'd like to see you back to your chunky self. <laughs> How does, do you feel better about it now? Have you identified in your own mind that transition between the child performer and the adult performer? Are you happy about that? Well, put it this way, I recognize it now. I recognize it, and that's where you can recognize it and enjoy it. You know, everybody's got a child part in them. And, um, I mean, the child part is still in me, and I've got a lot of catching up to do, whereas um, that I missed out, you know what I mean? I've got a lot of catching up to do for being a full, mature adult. You mean obviously. having boyfriends and doing That's all right. the things that a young girl I'm should do? Will you, will you give yourself, will the people around you give yourself more freedom to be yourself rather than well, Lena Zavaroni yeah, on the stage I'm, now? I'm glad you mentioned that because this is where it is hard because people still think of me as, oh, little Lena when she was nine, you know? And it's, it's, it's automatic for people to think that. I mean, I don't blame them. But, um, uh, I forgot the question again. <laughs> what are you saying? Well, maybe, maybe the old Lena wouldn't have, you see, and I, I think that's, that's quite endearing. And I think you're as charming as ever. Oh, yeah. And 